brother um, posted up this uh, short video with a pasta heart going off, man. And you know what? I'm going to just get straight to the point. Y'all listen to it for yourself. Uh, St. John 21. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not thought, by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other so way. What's the, what's the door and what's the sheepfold? Yeah, how size the door? But but you got to come in through us. Through it, right. Through the head to the, the right. head possible. With you got the highest rank in the Bible, yeah. which are yeah. possible. With the doorkeepers. You guys are not. A bishop is lower than the possible. A deacon is lower than the apostle. A yeah. general is lower than the apostle. A king is lower than the apostle. The both sides dealing with the prophets, a.k.a. the apostles. Yeah, I wish I set up the Apostle Paul, I mean the Apostle Peter, as the head. That's right. No. That's right. He made him apostle. They went from disciple to apostle. Bishops are a lower position. You got to run the church. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The apostles are the head guys. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Saint John. Now, you all heard that, man. He said, no, you got to go through us. All right, Shalom, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. All right, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone and Sassy Brothers doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. All right, firstly, Yahweh means uh, Yahweh's name, Heavenly Father, Bahasham means in the name, by in the Sham name. Yahweh Shai is the only begotten son. And we're going to hop right into it, man. All right, hey, for one, this is Mark 4, and the Spirit Code. This is Mark 4, uh, verse, I believe I'm going to start at 8, 12, Mark 4, and 11, he said unto them, unto you, I'm going to start at 10, and when he was alone, they that were about him with the 12 asked of him the parable, and he said unto them, unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of the Most High. But unto you, but unto them, that are without all these things are done in parables. And parables basically mean riddles, you know, dark sayings. Or really it's a story, a story that relates to, you know, something actual. One thing relating to another, but in layman's terms, a riddle. That saying they may see and not perceive. And hearing they may hear and not understand. That's that any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. And, and it said the same thing I said 8 chapter, you know. Essentially, some of these things are stumbling blocks. The Lord don't want everybody, man. And that's a scary thing. I mean, how about you, Shai? Bless us to be called and chosen from the beginning, you know, for the foundation of the earth. And when they read these things, you know, just as when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, he was a stumbling block. When they read these things, it's a stumbling block. And one way or another, they get removed. Whether they fall away, whether they get offended, whether they start to speak against the truth and the order. We had these examples in the past. We had the example of Korah going against uh, uh, Aaron. All right, and then they'll say, "Well, he's really murmuring against the Lord." And they thought the same thing. It's the common thought, nothing new under the sun. Throwing out order, thinking they two can be equal or surpass the actual order the Lord has set up. It don't work that way. The Lord set things in order, and the scripture say what they say. And I read this because this John 10, what the Apostle Hart said is, is written in John 10. And we're going to break it down. All right? So this is St. John 10 and 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that answereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. So there's only one way, which, yes, Yahweh Shai is that way. But Yahweh Shai made it clear he built his church upon the rock that's on this earth. So that's order that's also established on earth. And that's why Sirach says, learn to your elders for they learn to their fathers. So this order is set up and established, man. Period. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth. And the sheep hear his voice. 
and he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. But he that entered in is into slack. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep, right? To him the porteth openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. But look, let's go back to two. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. But it just told us, to, it, it says the sheep is going to enter through the door. So let's get the script. Let's jump down. Um, verse 7. Then say how was shy. Salaki. Then say how was shy to them again. Verily, verily I said to you, I am the door of the sheep. So how was shy is the door, right? All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Right? It said, he sh uh, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Let's keep going. The thief, com uh, the thief cometh not, but to the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life. That they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is in hireling. Uh, it's like he that is in hireling and not the shepherd. Whose own the sheep are not. See if the wolf cometh. And leaveth the sheep and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. Alright. And that's and the hirelings are these false teachers man. All right, the thief. They're not feeding the, uh, the flock sufficient, you know, things sufficient for salvation. They're not prophesying. They're not warning against the danger to come, the wolf to come. They're not preparing the flock uh, to be in the spirit of enduring. So they, so when Jacob's trouble come, what's up? You're in the spirit of enduring. And not only that, the Lord will fight for thee, man, to keep the word of his patience. The hireling fled because he is an hireling and cared not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. All right, but let's go back up. It says, uh, I am the, verse 9, I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved. So there's the men, the sheep that's entering in. But it says he that entered in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Just as in the times we had with Shai, Peter was... Was chief, but he first was what he entered in the door. He first came, he and something how was shy before he became the shepherd. But he that entered then surely becomes a shepherd, man. That's what it says right here. All right, and it says, What to him the porter opened? So there's somebody that's opening this door. The way to enter in through how was shy, there is somebody opening this door. There's an order. This truth didn't just come to you. It didn't just come to any of us. Which Yahweh Shai is the truth. So this truth, Yahweh Shai didn't just reveal himself in the flesh to us, man. We were taught Yahweh Shai. And guess what? Even Paul, who was taught by Yahweh Shai, went and put himself under who? The apostles. The apostles of that time, man. So the order is set up, then it's going to be the same now. Nothing new under the sun. But it said to him, the porter open it. Let's get this word for porter. So there are men that enter to the truth and become the leaders, that become shepherds. All right, and then we have these porters here. A doorkeeper. Exactly what the apostle said, the doorkeeper. King David mentioned that, man. This is Psalm 84 and 10. For a day in, the, in thy course is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my power than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. 
Now this, of course, is a humble job, but before uh, before honest humility. So right here, he's saying he'd rather be a doorkeeper, but that's spiritual. What it says, uh, first uh, first Corinthians second chapter, we compare spiritual things to spiritual. So there's a doorkeeper that's watching the way, man. And who is that? All right, the body of Yahweh Shai, but there's an order in the body. All right, there's an order in the body. Let me prove that, because that's part of the parable as well, because it says, he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. And Yahweh Shai is the shepherd. He's the top shepherd. But then we have King David, that shepherd, you know, the top shepherd under him. All right, and then we have... Um, Jer Let me get to Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah 3. This is... Jake just out of order. This is Jeremiah 3.15. Look for excuse to, to be offended and not rightly divide the word. Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. In fact, let me grab this in uh, the blue letter. <laughs> oh, I went to the wrong thing. That's the spirit, though. Jeremiah 23, 4. The word for pastor... Right, 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 ha, huh? or right to pasture. This is the rah, the I, and the ha. To pasture, ten graves feed, to ten pasture, to shepherd, of ruler, teacher. So I'll let you know what it means spiritually right there. All right, the t the teachers. Yahweh Shah is the top teacher, but how does he teach now, man? All right, how do you learn of Yahweh Shah? How do you learn these scriptures? All right. What what? Let's see what the Ethiopian said, which is uh, Israelite foreigner said in Acts, man. Yeah, Acts eight. And, uh, Thirty. And Philip ran there to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I, except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. So he had to be taught. He understood it when someone said, Let some man guide me. All right? Learn of your elders, they learned of their fathers. We all have teachers, man. It's simple. And the Lord is all about order. Yes, there's porters opening the door. We have shepherds. We have men that heard the truth, got raised up, and, and are shepherds. Lord willing, we ourselves, what are we doing? We, we, we're not just, you know, sitting on our hands. We're teaching. That's what the job when you that's the, the job when you hear this truth. You hear it and the spirit hits you, you teach it. And that's being a shepherd, man. But there's an order to it. It's like it's always been an order amongst the body of the prophets, man. This is Jeremiah 23. And I'm getting to the point. Well, you know what? I'm going to start at one because it mentions false shepherds too. So anybody that's putting himself in the position of teaching, and you're saying you're a shepherd one way or another. You have these the bad shepherds, and you have the right sheep. You have the goats, and you have the sheep. This is Jeremiah 23 and 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. The hireling. That's not in order. That's not feeding the, 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 the sheep, man. That's not grazing them. And that's to give the truth to Yahweh Shai, man. As can ever put it to be said in green pastures, man. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, power of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil you are doing, saith the Lord. 
And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries where I have driven them and will bring them again to their foes and they shall be fruitful and increase. So the Lord is going to wake up his elect and deliver his elect. But how shall they hear? Ooh. This is Romans 10. And 11, the script, for the scripture said, yeah, Romans 10 and 11, for the scripture said, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed, for there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, St. John 7.35. They referred to the, the Gentiles that were living amongst the heathens as Gentiles, and they considered the Greeks, the Israelites that lived amongst the Greeks, Salakia. They considered the Israelites that lived amongst the Gentiles, Gentiles. They considered the Israelites that lived amongst the Greeks, Grecians. Plain and simple. Isaiah 11 and 10 on down to about 15. Goes right with the St. John 7, 35. The outcast of Israel. Alright. So this ain't talking about actual uh, well, Edomites. Which aren't even original Greeks. It just that's just confusion. This is talking about Israelites that were among them. Simple. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the, that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. So how can they learn unless they have a teacher? And the teacher have to be sent. And the wild description mentions false prophets that the Lord did not send. And the proof, you're not teaching the right thing. You're coming up another way. You're a thief. You're a robber. You're stealing the Lord's words. That's Jeremiah 5. You're still in the Lord's words when you're not speaking the truth. And you've been lying to the Lord. You're lying on the Heavenly Father. That's why what we speak is so important, man. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who hath believed our reports. So there's men that's going to bring the report. And it's Isaiah 53 and 1, which mentions Yahweh Shai. His crucifixion. Which means men are going to teach Yahweh Shai. Men are going to be shepherds as well, man. Because we make up the body of Yahweh Shai, man. That's being one with Yahweh Shai. Let me finish Jeremiah 23. So... Jeremiah 23 and 4. And I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them. And they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. All right? So the Lord is setting up shepherds. But the chief shepherd, let me keep going. Behold, the days come, saith the Yahweh, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and the king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is and this is his name whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Which Yahweh Shai is our righteousness. That's in uh, Corinthians. He was made unto us wisdom, righteousness. And I think it says two more things. All right. But Yahweh Shai is our righteousness. That's the good shepherd. But there's other shepherds that come in the order of Yahweh Shai. And there's always order with the Lord established on the earth, man. This is Saint uh Saint John. Seventeen. And seventeen. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have, have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. 
Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. That they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, and they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. All right. So right here, Yahweh Shah is making it clear that him and his uh, teachers that he set up are one. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them that they may be one, even as we are one. I in them and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one. And that the world may know that thou hast sent me and has loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am. That they may behold my glory which thou hast given me for thou loves me before the foundation of the world. Alright. But yeah, man. It uh, um, says, but neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. So to believe when you have a shy, as we just read, how should they hear himself? They have a teacher. There's established teachers and there's an order with it, man. Plain and simple. It said Daniel will return in his lot. Peter, when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. So Peter was going to come back. The order was going to, it's going to be established, man. And just like Elijah and Elisha. Hey, because we had elders of our elders that have passed on. All right. But just like Elijah and Elisha, the, the, the power structure made the same as far as order goes. That's still in order. But it went down to whoever the Lord has set up through the spirit next in line. Man, that's speaking the truth. Whether you say it's great millstone or IUIC, I should care yourself. You have to accept the fact that this order, it remains true. Somebody is. The shepherds, somebody, some people are the shepherds. I want to say that shepherd because that's really what it says. It's men that's one way you have a shine, and there's an order. There's men that teach this truth and open the door for the next man to come in. It's the spirit that gives the increase, but this is working in, you know, us working together as one, planning and, and sowing, but the Lord gives the increase. That's us being one with our Lord, man. Having the same mind, doing the same work, which is his work. Just so let's stress that point so the the the, the balance is understood, man. Jay can't say, oh, they're trying to elevate. They said, no, this is what the scriptures say. Now, we believe that this order is set up and established through starting with the apostles of the great millstone. Who learn from their teachers. Simple, man. But the teachers are one. What you have was shy. And doing the work. And waking up others to come and learn and be in your house shy, man. To believe in your house shy. This is not that complicated, man. And there's plenty more scriptures to that, but really, that says enough, man. That's the point. That's the point. Look, there's plenty of scriptures that shows that the church is one where you have a shine. All right, you know, I do want to get this, though. About the body, which all can't be the head. This 1 Corinthians 12, but the church is one where you have a shine. Oh, in fact, this is perfect. 1 Corinthians 12 and 27. Now you are the body of Mashiach and members in particular. And the most I have said some in the church, first apostles. This is order in the body. Simple, man. <laughs> Secondarily, prophets, thirdly, teachers. After that, miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, governments, diversities of tongues. So there's order. And the first, the first at the top of the is the are the apostles. Alright. And whether you say whoever you say that is, that's on you. But you gotta accept this. 
that there's an order established. Ain't no, you take on too much of yourself. Uh, you know how it's working well, when they was scoffing Aaron. Are we not all holy? Is that the whole congregation holy? That's out of order. There's an order with the Lord, man. And then there are men that's prophets and leaders, and then there's regular believers. But there's an order. I got to get this. First Timothy 4. In verse um, 12, let no man despise thy youth. Please, it's my turn to speak on. Okay. <laughs> First Timothy 4 and 12, let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity. So like in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. What's the definition of presbytery? How did you get this gift? Presbytery. By uh, Strong's G42-44. Presbyterian. Body of elders, body of elders, presbytery, senate, council you know, of the Jewish elders, of the elders of of anybody, of the elders of anybody, assembly of Christians. Con with the order of elders. All right, that's how the gift is given through the prophecy by these elders, because who's the voice of the Lord? Hosea 12 and verse um, 10 I have also spoken by the prophets I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets alright and we know the Lord don't change now we know who's at the, the top of this the top prophet which is Yahweh Shai and he passed the message on down to his order, and then we speak these things. Because then Jacob tried to use Hebrews, the first chapter, with no understanding. The Lord still speaks through his prophets, and we already proved it with the St. John 17. Yahweh Shai, it says he uh, does what he's seen of his father. So it's the same order, the same establishment. Yahweh Shai even said, them that are his are, are actually the fathers, that the father gave them to him. So it's the same way. Yahweh Shai speaks through his prophets, through his servants. And the top title amongst that is apostles. This word must be taught. To have the truth now, you have to have been taught it. So that's plain. With that, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak Kodash. Double honest to the apostles of the great millstone. And Satan's brother's doing his thing in sincerity, truth, and maturity. Shalom, one, one, Baba, Baba.